May the Lord bless you. I would like to invite you to listen to this teaching in detail, and I believe that God shall speak to you in this teaching. May the Holy Spirit teach you. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. I would like to give you a key to receive the victory and the blessing from the Lord. The Bible says that when we obey the commandments of the Lord, we shall be blessed, and we shall be the head, not the tail. Therefore, I'm going to tell you one of the ways to walk in love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7 gives us the definition of love from heaven. 1 Corinthians 13, 7 says, Love bears all things, believe all things, hopes all things, endures all things. We are all tempted to give up on what we are believing for what the Lord promises. We are so tempted to walk away from someone who disappoint us or hurt our feeling, to slack off at work and not be our best because we are not being treated right. The Bible say we should endure, we should hope, we should believe for the best thing and we should walk in love. When we walk in love, we have the commitment. We are committed. If we are going to reach our highest potential, if we want to see the demonstration of God's favor, God's grace and His blessing, we should stay committed. We should walk in love. We should not desert people. We should not walk away from the people that God put into our life or the work that He called us to do. We have a made up mind that we are in it for the long haul. It may be difficult. We may have a good reason to walk away, just forget about love, forget about commitment, but we should not take the easy way out. We should stay committed to our marriage, stay committed to raising our children, stay committed to our friends in the good times and in the tough times. We should stay committed to the church where God called us to be in. I would like to encourage you to pray to God and be sure that the Holy Spirit leads you to be committed to a good local church. And once you know that that is a church you are called to be in, to be a part of that body, stay committed. Stay committed to the relationship to your pastor, to your brother and sister in the church. Stay committed to the calling of God, the ministry that God called you to do. Don't give up on the promises of God. Don't give up on what God called you to do. God may put something in your heart. Whatever God put in your heart may take longer than you thought. Stay committed. Don't give up. God called me to start New Hope International Church in 1987. The church was started in 1988 by the Holy Spirit. I faced up and down time. People came in, people left. I faced some difficult times, some disappointed time, but I stay committed because I know God put that calling into my heart to be a pastor of New Hope International Church. I show my love to God and my brother and sister by not quitting, by staying committed to what God called me to do. Stay committed to your job. Stay committed to your church. Be loyal to your spouse, to your children, to your church. Be loyal to your ministry that God called you to do. Stay committed because commitment is the way to show love to God. You are committed to God. You love Him. You will not walk away from Him. You show love to your family, to your church by being committed. And when you obey the command of the Lord, love the Lord your God with all your strength, your mind, your soul, your spirit, and love your neighbor as yourself, you shall be blessed and you shall be healed and you shall see miracle. The grace of God shall come upon you. The favor of God will chase after you. Be loyal people. You are the one who somebody else can count on every day of your life. When the church opens on Sunday, you are there. 
You stand there on Sunday. Your pastor can depend on you, can rely on you. People can count on you because you are committed people. James chapter 5 verses 7 to 9, the Bible talk a lot about being loyal and being committed. The Bible say in James chapter 5, brothers and sisters, be patient until the Lord comes again. See how farmers wait for their precious crops to grow. They wait patiently and for fall and spring rains. You too must be patient. In other words, you must be committed. Be patient. Don't give up. Don't walk away. Don't give up hope. The Lord will soon be here. Brothers and sisters, stop complaining about each other or you will be condemned. Realize that the judge is standing at the door. Be committed. Be patient. Walk in endurance. Keep going. Doing what God called you to do. And keep loving people around you whom God put into your life. They may not be perfect. They may make mistakes. They may offend you. They may not be nice to you. But you just stay committed to them. Love them. Support them. Be good example to them. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3 say, Remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of our God and Father. The Apostle Paul wrote this to the brother and sister in that church that, Wow, I remember your work of faith, your labor of love, and your patience of hope. You are committed members of the church. Wow, the Lord can depend on you. The Lord can count on you. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Let us be that kind of people. When you know that God called you to be with a group of people in the ministry or in your workplace or in your church, you love them. You support them. You are the blessing to them. Don't complain. Don't walk away. Stay committed. And the Lord will shine His face on you. The Lord will show His favor in your life. You will find favor in the eyes of the Lord. The people who see their dreams come to pass are the people who stay committed. God rewards consistent, faithful, and committed people. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 to 12 say, But you, Timothy, are a man of God, so run from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. The Bible talks about faith, love, perseverance, which means commitment. Just endure, just stay there, no matter what happened up and down, crying, laughing, you persevere and you are gentle. Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have confessed so well before many witnesses. The Bible says clearly, stay committed. Confess the promises of God and believe that His promises shall come to pass. You committed to what God called you to do and the Lord will show His favor to you. The Lord will bless you because you walk in love. Commitment is the way to show love to God and to people. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12 says, Then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of their faith and endurance. Faith and endurance. People who have endurance are people who are committed to what God called them to do. They are committed to the promise of God, to the calling of God. I noticed in New Hope International Church, there are so many brothers and sisters who are committed. And I noticed that God blessed the work of their hand. Their children are committed because their children learn from their character that their parents are committed. And God blessed their children to have good job, education, good spouse. Wow, I can see with my own eyes that God bless and shower His favor and goodness on those people who are committed and faithful to what God calls them to do. 
my brother and sister, in my heart, I believe life character is more important than just head knowledge. The devil knows the Bible too, but he doesn't have godly character. Godly character is faith, love, endurance, and commitment, faithfulness. Be faithful, be committed. That is a good character that you can pass on to the next generation. If you're committed to your church, your children will be committed to Jesus and to the church as well. But if you keep hopping from church to church, you're not committed to any church, you just keep changing your mind, your children will learn from you and they will imitate your unfaithfulness and uncommitment. Please have the character of commitment. 1 Samuel 26, 23, the Bible says, The Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and faithfulness. Do you want to receive reward from God? God will reward you when you're faithful. You are committed. The Bible talks a lot about love, faithfulness, endurance, perseverance, and commitment. Luke chapter 19, verse 17 says, Well done, the king exclaimed. You are a good servant. You have been faithful with the little I entrusted to you. So you will be governor of 10 cities as your reward. I believe and declare as you walk in love by faith and you are committed family members, you are the committed leaders of the church, members of the church, you're committed to the company that God called you to serve there. You're committed to your friends. You're faithful. The Lord shall reward you. He will multiply what you have. He shall give you the increase. He will bless you and He will use you to be the blessing to a lot of people around you. Good things may not happen overnight, but you stay committed. And as time goes by, God going to open heaven and reward you. I like the story of Joseph. He was so committed to his father. He was committed to his boss, Potiphar. He was committed to the head of the jail or the prison. He was a man of commitment and God rewards him. Overnight, he became the prime minister of Egypt. God promoted him, rewarded him in a significant way because he is a man of faithfulness, love, faith, and commitment. I believe you're going to practice what you learn from this teaching. Let us pray together. Father, thank you so much for your faithfulness and your commitment to love us at all times. You are the God of commitment. You are the faithful God. You set a good example to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you never slack off in bringing your promises to fulfillment in our life, Lord. Lord, help us to stay committed in all our relationships, to be faithful in our work, to be someone others can always count on. Lord, may your Holy Spirit change us and transform us. Help us to have the godly character like Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad that we are encouraged by the Word of God and I believe that the Lord will reward you and use you. Please subscribe to our channel, click like and click the notification bell. God loves you so much and I love you. I want to see the Holy Spirit really build your life to become more like Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening to this teaching. I believe that you are those people who love God and want to obey God. The Bible promises in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19, if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And I believe that you are that person who is willing and obedient to the Word of God. And may the Lord bless you and the Lord give you all the good things that He has prepared for you from heaven. Thank you so much. See you in the next teaching. Heavenly Father loves you so much. He wants to bless you, anoint you, and use you to be the blessing to the nations. May He put His hand upon you 
and give you so much grace, so much strength, joy, and wisdom. May the fire of God come and burn on the inside of you and use you to touch many lives in the world. May heaven be open over you and pour the goodness of God, the blessing of the Lord into your life. May God use you to carry the fire to other people. Set the captive free. Heal the sick. Preach the gospel and make disciples. Build His kingdom. May the grace of God work in your life and you become fruitful and you will have many rewards in heaven. May the Lord get the glory through your life.